Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the 100k challenge, which is where the temperature is super low here, minus 100 Kelvin, minus 180 in some places. Let's zoom out here and take a look at the map, how things are going all the way out. We've almost got the whole map explored now. The base is a good kind of yellowish green temperature. Uh, we're starting to melt the core down here. You can see a little hot area here. And we haven't really done much with space yet, but this episode, I think we're going to maybe get into some rocketry and stuff. Now, I've been inspired by um, Francis John. He takes this game to the next level, builds some crazy stuff. And he built a, ro a rocket silo along the whole right-hand side of the map and filled it with rockets. I think I might try to build a rocket silo along here eventually, but just to get started, I think we'll do a steam rocket up here somewhere. But before we get started, I want to mention that uh, a few videos ago I asked you guys to subscribe. And I mentioned that only about 60, I forget the numbers, but I was looking at the YouTube stats and 60 or 70% of you were not subscribed at, in terms of the stats. But that one episode where I mentioned it, um, doesn't really make sense, but the stats have been improving quite a bit since then. And I got over 250 subs on that one day, I think. So from now on, I'm going to probably try to mention, please subscribe if you haven't done. So if you want to subscribe, if you enjoy these videos, uh, I won't say uh, give it a like because you can do that if you like them. But if you don't like it, feel free to give it a downvote. Um, yeah, so subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs as well. So that's kind of like the other challenge going on here. Uh, not necessarily during this series because that's probably impossible. But anyway, we're going to get into space. We need to build a steam rocket. Uh, in the past, I've done steam a few ways. Uh, one time I used a tepidizer and used kind of a little bit of an exploit to allow it to go turn on and off. And the other time I used aqua tuner, I think. Now the aqua tuner requires me to kind of cool a liquid to get the heat to generate the steam. But I don't really have any kind of hot liquids nearby that I can use. So this time I might do something completely different and do some steam, do some metal refining up here to generate steam. That might be the way I go about it. I like the steam generation to be really close to the rocket because otherwise the steam cools down, especially on this map. It's going to be crazy. So I'll probably do steam generation around here somewhere and then plop the steam rocket over here. Oh, I saw some rot pile in there. Something's something's rotting up here. But I think I want to just maybe dig up first a bit. Get some mafic rock here. We'll do pretty high priority just to get up here. And then maybe kind of hollow this out a little bit and explore the, the pieces we haven't seen yet. We'll put a little bunker tile cap on here. Just to protect just to protect their heads. And now that dupe is stuck. <laughs> So we'll free them. And maybe I'll do that even higher priority. Because we don't want them to be stuck. This will be more like a two for now. Yeah. Okay, they're, they're up there. Without too much uh, drama. Oops. Hit the wrong key. Back up we go. I'm probably just going to dig across here and let it fall down and clear this out. Got new printables. Shine nymphs. I don't even want shine nymphs. I don't want any more dupes, so... We'll get nothing out of that. Now my steam room. Where should we... What should we do here? We're going to do... I need some background tiles. Probably just use drywall out of maybe mafic rock since we have it close by. Priority eight, sure. I'm I'm building background tiles because I just want to have a vacuum to start with here. Actually, is that what I want? Do I really want a vacuum? Um, I'm going to be doing. No, you know what? It doesn't matter. We can do it just below here, maybe in this area. Let's shave this down a bit. Uh oh, this is kind of deadly. We don't want them. We don't want them running across here. 
They could get stuck really easily. And they're going to get sunburnt if they don't build this in a hurry. So let's get this done right away. Gossman looks really confused. <laughs> Is he stuck? Gossman. Hungry, sunburnt. Well, if you're sunburnt, then get out of the sun, you little... Dupes are like little dummies. Okay, so maybe I'll put the metal refining here. We built something similar before. Oh, I remember. I know why I was want to use keep a vacuum here because I want to start the steam generation in here. Yeah. I do kind of know what I'm doing here, kind of. I have a r really rough plan. Kind of. Kind of not really. I just want to get through all this regolith here first. Got our diggers on the job. Just kind of want to see what's over here. Probably nothing but regolith. Priority did I do that? Five. Let's get this done first. Okay, I'll probably just start roughing this out here. Let's do... We're going to do metal refining. Doesn't really matter what we build this out of, I don't think. I think I'll just do it right here. But first, we, I gotta shave this out a bit more. I want it to be even with this door. We'll leave that side for now. Let's we'll work our way over this way. So metal refinery, and then we're gonna put a radiant pipe through a room to generate steam, and then pump the steam into a rocket. And the steam rocket will be temporary. We're not really trying to keep it for very long. We also need an astronaut. I don't really have an astronaut train, so maybe we'll have to do that. Okay, now we're almost at an even level here, so we can start doing refinery. Stick that right here. I want to tie that into the Hmm, we don't have power here. That's kind of an issue. Kind of an issue. Um, I kind of wanted to keep my power hidden away here in this backbone. So maybe we'll just continue on up here. Right through that oil biome, right through all this. And really I should Start digging from both ends here. I think they'll make pretty quick work of that. I did do a thing, a few things off camera. I think I'll mention that just briefly here. Added some exosuits at the top. And we should probably put a few more in, because we're kind of bottlenecked by that. Uh, yeah. And then let's hook this up here. Oh, and I had a bit of a chlorine explosion down at the bottom of the base here. I think some solid chlorine, frozen chlorine, fell to the bottom and hit the bottom here and completely turned into chlorine gas, as you can see. But that was kind of, had a side benefit that it killed all this zombie spores. There was like, there's still 200 million in the water here, but 
The air was like super thick with zombie spores before, and now this chlorine cast has just cleaned it right up. Whenever I get this water out of here, though, I'm going to have to pass it through a room full of chlorine to kill all those spores. And they still haven't fixed this. This has been like this for... I think I just have to reconstruct this, because... This has been on a Priority 9 repair for... Like, five cycles. I don't know what's going on there. They just refuse to do it. So we're going to rebuild it. Or just use this one. It's already hooked up. That goes that way. That should work just fine. I'm going to turn this emergency. I think there's something very wrong with this thing here. I kind of don't want it repaired. I just want it removed. Oh, deconstruct. Wasn't set. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. I thought I said it to de deconstruct. Oh well. And I had some water in the pipe here. I made a kind of a boo boo along here, so. Let's reconnect this. I had water in the line. And we got oil spilling over and going into our water, which is not good. Oh man, one disaster after another. A cascade of disasters. I think we can probably get that sorted pretty soon though, but we got a little bit of, actually quite a bit of oil in here now. Crap. Oil in the water supply. Is what happens if you take your eye off the ball for not very long. Okay, now this should be hooked up and have a place to go. Goes in there. Uh, this is disabled. Let's get that going. I'm basically out of petroleum. I, use, I burned it all off. Okay, that's not good. They'll be mopping that forever. Okay, finally it's coming out. That's good. It's going in there. Probably should have some storage tanks along the way. But I think it'll get used up. Okay, petroleum's running again. Let's go back up to the top here. Okay, so let's plan this out. We need a... We need a loop here. We're gonna probably model what I did down here this metal refinery set up way down here. Similar idea, except we're not going to burn off the steam. We're going to use it for the rocket. We'll have to get some petroleum up there somehow to get this loop going. I think I'll use the same reservoir before we go through a radiant loop here. Something like this. Reservoir. Actually, I kind of wanted to build this with air behind it, but uh, we'll have to fill up a room, I guess. Let's build the background first. Mafic rock should be fine. I think that'll cover the background. We might as well make it four high like everything else. Enough for the reservoir. And let's, let's get this set up. So we're going to do insulated in. Actually, let's go out of the tank into here. Uh, out of the refinery. I need a return. <laughs> I need a return loop. Maybe we'll go underneath. Insulated to there. Build a proper floor here.
Might as well put a ceiling on this thing. We're gonna need that. The rest has to be insulated. Igneous rock should be fine. Doesn't have to be that big of a loop. Actually, it can be pretty small, actually. And I'm not using background tile here on purpose. Okay, so from here on out, we can do radiant pipe out of lead. And then return that into the tank. We'll have to prime the tank with some liquid, but that's the general idea, I think. And we're gonna need a background wall for sure. Hopefully I haven't messed this up. And then we need a gas pump. We'll make that out of steel because it's going to get hot in there. And I'll put this way to the left so we have a limited distance to travel. And I want some automation here. So I want to make sure it's hot enough. So we want a temp sensor. We want the steam to be hot enough. And really the only thing that's in here that should be steam. I will put a Atmos sensor in here as well. I don't know if I'll use it, but just in case. And then we'll hook, we'll definitely hook this one up to that. Not quite sure about this one yet, but we'll put a little way out here. Oh, and that dupe is stuck. <laughs> Abe, get out of there. Okay, so how's our power back go bone going? <laughs> nope, no progress. Uh, are they able to get to it? They should be able to. It is priority eight. Hmm. Let's go from the other direction as well. Is there a friend in there? Let's check our printables here. Sand? Okay. We'll take it. I might have to move my airlock and then just let the air kind of work its way in here. And I should probably put a ladder on this end so they can get around. So this has to be insulated and I'm going to use ceramic for this because I want the best insulation possible. And we'll run that through the insulated tile. And that's what's going to be going into our rocket. And in theory, it shouldn't cool down except for the temperature of the ceramic, because there's just vacuum here. And we'll plan out the actual rocket too. Let's see here. We want a uh, steam engine. Oh, that thing's huge. Sit that right up there. Maybe give it a bit of space. I'm going to need uh, scaffolding here. Of 
Oh, we need a gantry. It's been a while since I built a rocket, so... Bear with me here. I think that will do us. Right there. Steel, uh... Sh oh, steel's the only option. They should be able to reach that, and then we probably want a ladder on the other side. I might need I might need some temp ladders here. Maybe we should do a gantry from either side. It's kind of overkill, but why not? I don't usually do it this way, but let's just do a double gantry system like this. We'll leave a gap in the middle because why not? Just for symmetry and whatever. Now I hope this whole setup works. We do need power, so let's get that wired in as well. Lead, uh, I'm gonna do... It's gonna get hot in there. I don't need steel in there, but we'll do it anyway. And then lead across here. And hook that up. I kind of want to make sure we sweep everything out of here as well, just for tidiness. And we're going to have to dig all this out. Or we could try to launch the rocket through it all, but I think we have to dig it out. So let's pick a path through here. And actually, got to be careful about the meteor showers now. Maybe we'll go across here instead. I don't want to crack through just yet. I should keep an eye on the base as well. Sometimes bad things happen when I'm not looking. Got a dance party going on. Oxygen looks good. Didn't hook these up yet. Let's hook these up. More suits equals more dupes. Eventually I should warm this room up, because they do have to run through the cold. Which is probably not that pleasant, but... What else is going on here? We got tons of hatches. This hatch doesn't belong here. These guys escaped. And we got our drowning chamber, but... We do have a lot of extra hatches ending up over here. <laughs> This is kind of like our living food reserve. If we need food, we can just go in here and do a mass uh, mass kill off. Now there isn't any, any slime going to these anymore, so I should probably... They're fertilizing plants that aren't growing, so that's never good. There is a little bit sli a slime left on the map, so let's go get some of that. Some over here. Priority 9 is a bit much. I think we can uh, make our way through this as well. Once I run out of slime, I'll retire the mushrooms because we don't probably need them. And I kind of want to expand the population of these guys. I think we could periodically feed them dirt. Get their numbers growing. Just feed them the tiniest amount. <laughs> I 
Okay, back upstairs. How's it going here? Oh, ouch. Someone got hit in the head with a meteorite. We got a rocket being built. That's good. No way through here yet. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I think I can build over top of these. I think I built them one too high, though. But... It's not too bad. I have used regolith in the past to try to make steam, but it takes way too long, so... Okay, we got that built. Let's uh, build some research modules on top. We're gonna go for five. I think we got room for that. Yep, no problem. Now, I wasn't rushing on this map at all. I was kind of taking my time, as you can probably tell. We're at cycle 460. Maybe I'll do a challenge someday just on the standard map to see how fast we can get to rockets. Because I definitely took my time this time. Okay, don't you get stuck there. Okay, they, they're working their way through here. Okay, that's good. I kind of want a tube along here as well, because it's kind of slow for them to get up and down. So I think we will build that. we got some stuff in the way here. This exhaust valve we can put over one. Clear that out of the way. And then run a tube all along the way. We love tubes. That'll make them overall more efficient. We'll just run it all the way through. And maybe dump them off right here somewhere. Okay, that was some pretty big save lag already. We're not that far in and we got pretty bad save lag. We also have to build the wire along here, so we'll get that going. What should we use? We got tons of iron, tons of copper. Use copper. It has to make its way all the way over here. Or we could do like a little conduit through here that they never see. Maybe I'll do that. I don't want this in a vacuum actually. We got a vacuum actually all the way down to, holy crap, down to here. Hmm. Maybe we'll go through here. And I am venting gas out into space now, which is probably not good. Maybe I shouldn't have gone all the way through here. Maybe we should go through here instead. Uh, I do want some... Or we could build a room in here, I don't know. Let's go through here. Where is all this going to end up if we go through here? All this liquid's going to end up down here and spilling all over. I think we can probably safely go through here. Yeah, let's do that. And for now, let's seal this up. So the air doesn't escape. Hmm. What should we do here? 
I'm gonna have to steal this somewhere. Before we lose all the air. Uh, maybe we can do background tile for part of this. And then seal there, and they can still get in from below. Or am I gonna trap them? <laughs> I'm gonna trap them. Okay, we'll let them finish this off first. It's okay if we lose a little bit of air at the top here. New printables fertilizer, okay. We'll take that. And reachable dig. Oh, they haven't built this yet. That's unreachable. Really? How did they build this one? Strange. Maybe this is in the way? Maybe I had the ladder up over top. Looking at this with a sideways curious look, because kind of thought they'd be able to dig that, but I guess they have to be able to dig through here before they can start all that. It should all be reachable now. In fact, this should be reachable. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I should have built it one over. It's not too late. Oh, I think they were reachable, but... I think I have to dig this one tile. going on there. <laughs> we'll let them dig it up first. We got them doing a lot of stuff here, so that's never good. Should probably let, let them get a bit caught up. Okay, let's let, uh, put a tube axis here. Iron should be fine. A little kink in the uh, tunnel there. And I kind of need another power line for that. Let's use lead go along here. Do another transformer out here. Could turn that one around. Or we could make it like all the rest here to make it nice and uniform. Not there though. Let's do it uh, up here. I think my hatchery is like kind of overkill here. <laughs> Too many hatches. Get the 
this is all gone. We can clear that up. I think this thing is stuck here. Five kilograms of steam. Need to get the oxygen out of here in order to kick this thing off. I might have to actually crack this open. Put that oxygen out and then it should just kind of fire it up. Maybe. Overpressure. Hmm. It's all stuck in there. Try one more. I, I'm worried we're just going to get a steam explosion here. Probably will. Steam 5 kilograms. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. I should have made a vacuum in here first. Oh, there we go. Let's seal it up real quick. <laughs> Cold damage. What the hell? What the heck? Oh, it's so cold in here. What was I thinking with this setup? Jeez Louise. Terrible idea. Okay, we'll do that just like that. And we'll use our plumbing fire duels for all this. Not quite sure what I was thinking there. I wanted to cool this down, but I realized I forgot it was like super cold here. Okay, I just had a disaster there. Complete disaster. Okay, that's fixed. We got steam. The oxygen's kind of... I mean, it's stuck in there. I'll have to vacuum that out. Next time this goes dormant, I'll just vacuum out this room and we'll fix this forever. Because right now it's a mess. <laughs> Total mess. Okay. Got the power hooked up here, though. That's good. Tube access. Let's give them a few drop-offs here. If they decide to get out along the way. And right here, we'll just stick them right here. Okay, back to the rocket. Buildable. Wait a minute. Where's your suit? <laughs> Where is your suit? How did you get out without a suit? Did I make... Did I make them... I don't know how that happened. There's only one way out. There should only be one way out. That's not blocked anymore. That's what I did wrong. This should be sealed. Yeah, I opened up this, and I think they were able to hop. Yeah, they're able to hop up there. Okay, you don't. You get up here. Way build. Oh, Osman, are you stuck? No. There we go. Sealed back in. Now there should just be one way up. Okay, let's build this uh, thing into the steam here. We could have re return pipe back in here. 
to stick the steam back in. That's probably a good idea. High pressure steel vent. We'll do a few bridges here. Not necessary, but... Yes, it'll fill up, and once it fills up, it will bypass and come back in and get reheated. And then keep a loop going while the rocket's away. I probably don't really want to gantry every single step here. And I've just exposed the ceiling here, so now we're going to start to get major pain on dupe heads. Let's fix our ladder here. <laughs> and really, this is in the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> this is a temporary rocket. Because I don't want this to be the main rocket silo forever. More shovel eggs, wow. Let's, uh, let's do this. Dispenser. I think we got room in there. Insufficient oxygen generation. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, we'll make this a sweep only shovel egg. That way we can just sweep up these ones that dropped off the printer here. I think there's some in there. Some of them might have ended up in the these things, incubators. We got a plastic. Glossy Drecklet. <laughs> Not intentionally. Okay, we're getting this built. They're not going to be able to reach the middle here. I guess we can do gantries all along the way. Why not? Just to make it look sexy. That should all be reachable, I think. We could have used jet suits or whatever, but I'd have to get petroleum up here. That dupe might be stuck now. We're gonna have to power all these gantries, I think, to, re to retract them. Okay, up we go. Now we're just gonna let the meteorites just fall down on here and it's actually gonna damage our ladder. I should probably put a ceiling on this thing. 
some bunker doors. I usually put those at the very top, though. But maybe we could just quickly build up before we get too, too messed up here. Okay, we got three research modules. We're going to go for five here. And I should probably start generating steam here. <laughs> we do need a way for water to get in here, but let's seal that up. Oh, I did igneous rock there. That's fine. Make sure our loop is good. Yeah. Our automation, if pressure above. I don't know. We'll make it really high for now. Oh, that's temperature. Did I not power that up? Not yet. Okay, that's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, how many do we have now? Four. One more to go. Then the top of the rocket. I wonder if I can just use automation to uh, attract these. I am going to use steel. Don't really need to, but it doesn't cost that much. Connect these all to the same switch. Surprised we haven't gotten a meter shower yet. Oh, the other thing I'm going to use in this whole thing that I haven't talked about. And it's a mod for sure. If I can find it. Uh oh, we got a meter shower coming in. Oh crap, here we go. <laughs> oh crap, I was kind of worried about this. Um, I should have built the uh, thing I was going to build first here. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, uh, it's like a laser for meteorites. Should have built this first. I don't know where it is. Um, Meteor defense laser. Now this is a mod. Requires a thousand power, ten thousand DTU of heat. How does that work? It needs to be in a cooled room. That doesn't really help us much. Maybe we won't use them. Just got to get a ceiling on here. We'll set the repair to priority one here. We don't want them repairing right away. Let's try to get up to the top because I like to build my doors at the top. Okay, there's the top. We'll do some bunker doors across here. That's that kind of fit. That'll let the rocket out at least. Bunker tile, we'll put a little overhang here. There we go. Hopefully we can get this all done before the next meter shower. This area is at risk, but I think it'll hold for a while. I think 
we need a little way across here. We'll remove these later. How much steel have I made? 38 tons. Got lots. Okay, this is the priority job here. Gotta get this completed. Now that's all gonna need power. Let's use steel. Or does it need power? I think it just needs automation, but we'll power them anyway. And then do an automation wire here. Probably just do a switch. This might be an extra long episode, because I do want to get the rocket going before the episode is over. Okay, let's get this planned out here. So let's have a way for water to get in here. And I didn't leave myself leave myself any any room here for water to get in here. Brilliant. We could just stack some ice in there. I think we'll do this instead, though. So that'll be our water input. That's all I need. Water in, steel pump. We're gonna need petroleum up here. Get this filled with petroleum. We could use oil. There's some oil over here we could use. Yeah, and there's some oil over here we could use. Let's just use that instead. It's going to be easier. Oil can go up to four, three ninety nine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Still have meteorites that could come in at this angle here. I should, probably should have just done doors here, but okay. I don't want those open. <laughs> close, close. We should be closing. <laughs> Maybe they have to open all the way before they can close. Okay, let's get back to this here. We need some oil up here, so... Try to consolidate it all down here. Ooh.
Don't need a whole lot of it. This has to be insulated because we don't want it to freeze solid. That is going... I couldn't build along here, I think. That's going in here. This needs power, so this line we can use. Hydrogen? Oh crap, we got hydrogen in here. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Okay, that's not the biggest problem though. We can empty it out. We'll seal it up. We'll create a vacuum. How do we do up here? Uh, I'm reachable. Those are finally closing. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> and we need the top of the rocket. Now we can safely seal this, I think. Get some oil in there, that'll be for our cooling loop. Make sure I got this set up right. Yeah, output, input, output, loop, back in. And we gotta get power of this up here. And I was gonna come through here. Can I mop any of this up? Oh yeah, all of it, good. Probably seal this up. Now that they have an alternate way out. Okay, we got oil coming in. Good. Filling up that tank. Perfect. Don't need a whole lot. We'll probably just suck up what we have here. Let's start vacuuming this out uh, once we get power.
So we'll do a transformer in here somewhere. And get the power hooked up up here. Okay, let's start that little project. Guess we'll go through here like this. I'm making that out of steel. That is a terrible idea. Try that again, maybe with uh, lead this time. And I guess the transformer can go, oops, in here. There we go. Oh, lag. <laughs> okay. Try that. What the heck? Can't cancel. Serious lag there. Okay. Let's see if we can move these gantries without. I don't think we can. No, we need power. I think I might have to do some fancy automation here, or we'll blow the circuit here. Why did I build so many gantries? <laughs> we kind of don't need them anymore. We only need the top one. I don't know why I built all that automation. Anyway, they were temporary. Oh, I should have removed the automation wire first. <laughs> Three steps forward, seven steps back. This doesn't need to be here anymore. Put the switch up here. Okay. Now we need an astronaut. But first we need steam. Power is almost there. This used to be really warm in here. Now it's cooled down. All that oil has been taken out. Okay. That's good, it almost filled the tank perfectly. Okay, that's good. We can cut this pipe off, I think. You know what, we have pliers for that now. Pliers is a mod, it's a pretty amazing mod. I've been enjoying it, thank you all for suggesting it. Now, um, Mokun, one of my Patreon supporters, requested to be the astronaut. So let's see here. Mokun, I think you're a chef now. What do I have you on? 
Yeah, you're our chef. One of our chefs? Our only chef? Maybe we can't send you to space. Maybe we'll send a researcher to space. Nothing got snappy here. Hmm. Who else could we send? I think we might just send Matt, since he's all prepped. Yes. Let's do that. And let's go all the way. Sorry, Mokun. We could rename Matt, but I think Matt's going to go to space. Matt is also a Patreon supporter, so it's all good. We're going to have more astronauts as well. I just need to get a new chef prepped. Okay, is this all set up? Have we made a vacuum here? No. If the temperature, I don't know, below. Yeah, we'll just get this sucked out. Before we get any steam made. I think we have everything we need here. Get a vacuum going, put some water in, start refining, get steam, remove the vent. Whoa, what are we doing here? <laughs> That's not good. Is that actually going into the rocket? Is that destroying? Hydrogen? Interesting. Hydrogen is going into the rocket and being destroyed. <laughs> Never seen that before. And we need to be able to open these up, which we can do. They're just going to be slow. Do I want to remove the gantries? I've put so much work into this silo here. I'm tempted to just do the other rockets here. Um, I just took all the automation wire out. Uh, <laughs> Screw it. I want to do. I want to do my missile silo up the whole map. Never done that before. So we will get rid of these gantries. I'm going to need them to dis dis dismantle this rocket anyway. Maybe we'll just... Ah, uh, jeez. Put it all back. Screw it. We'll get rid of them. Probably wondering why I'm clicking all these times here. That ladder can go. I just don't want to accidentally deconstruct the rocket by mistake. Okay. Got tons of idle dupes. How'd our power line go? That's all hooked up. We got power. We got a vacuum. Okay, this can go. Make sure to rehook this up. Cold damage. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it is kind of freezing here. We got to get this warmed up real quick. So, I think we can safely turn this on and we're going to do iron. Eventually we'll do steel, but got to get that oil warmed up again. Didn't realize how cold it was here. Now there's no, there's no air in here, so this might all 
overheat really quickly. I need to seal this room. And then fill it with air. But we got stuff moving. Now we don't want this to get too hot. So we gotta get some water in there. Actually, I don't have any water prepared. <laughs> Um, jeez. Okay, I have a I have a real quick plan here. Let's turn this off for now. We're gonna stick some water in here and reroute it here. And make sure no oil gets in our water. Okay, this thing's at 100 degrees. That's not too bad. Temperature of the oil in here, 54. Okay, I think we're okay in terms of that freezing or not getting... Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, once this is cleared out, we'll drop some water in here. It's warm enough that it won't freeze, which is good. Bottle emptier. See, so yeah, I'm totally improvising here. No, no plan, as you can probably tell. Okay, I can, think we can safely put water in here. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on the way up. Enable auto bottle, priority eight. We don't need a whole bunch, just a little bit. How's our oil doing here? It's cooling pretty quickly. That's sealed now. We need some air in here, so. Let's pump some oxygen in there. We got a little bit, actually. 90, no, 90 grams, that's not enough. Let's take a pump here. Let's chuck some oxygen in here. A little bit will float out into space, but that's okay. Uh, but this is really messed up now, because this is... <laughs> uh, let's seal that and dig that out. Blue oxygen, that's fine. I really don't want to build this. Unreachable build. Uh, this door is not able to be used. That's why. <laughs> no wonder it was taking so long. We do have to power these, so let's get that prepped. I'll use steel along here. I think I need another power line for this. We'll just piggyback off this one for now. Critter starvation. 
That's okay. I am feeding them dirt. Oh, I gotta keep an eye on my dirt. 50, 555 tons? Okay, we're fine. Okay, we got water going in. How much water do we have in there? 113 kilos. Turn that off for now. I think it's safe to turn this puppy on. We better not do forever. We'll do 99, just in case I forget. Which is entirely possible. Okay, we got some oxygen in there. Should have put a background, a shift plate here, but too late now. In fact, the whole background could have been shift plates, but. There goes some hot oil. I think we need this to be even hotter, but it'll warm up over time. It's the average temperature, 69, 68. And we'll just, we'll just do steel as well. If we got, oh, we need refined carbon, okay. Haven't checked on the base in a while. Everyone alive? <laughs> Temperature. Things are cooling down here because we're feeding them cold igneous rock. But we got our warming loop, so we're good. Actually, 10 degrees. Jeez. Dirt. Got some meat sitting on the ground here. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> we'll pick it up, <laughs> cook it. Oh yeah, the other thing I did off camera was put more coal power in. I was running low on power, so there's that. everything else going I oh I also added these uh, thimble reeds here in a little temperature controlled room and that was to suck up the polluted water that was accumulating here we'll eventually use that for paintings and stuff so oh we're almost out of salt water here wow that's because I'm dropping some down here <laughs> hmm I guess I can probably shut that off now and just keep that dedicated to the oil production. I had a complete mess in here, but gotta stay focused here on the task at hand. Steam. Oh no! We have to get rid of him. If he throws up in our little steam room, we're in trouble. Oh, now he's down here. Crap. <laughs> no, you little bugger. We gotta get him. Oh, we're gonna meter damage as well. Start building the shield here. guess in both directions.
Oh no! <laughs> okay, they, he died. <laughs> he died. What's the temperature in here? We got steam. We got steam going into the rocket. Beautiful. Uh, it's not quite hot enough. I kind of wanted this to be... If temperature above... One... Let's make it 130. Because I don't want it to turn into water in the pipe. Actually, 120 is probably okay. It doesn't have too far to go. What is it at? 120... 121? One, oh, 116. Okay, refined carbon. Let's get some of that made. 99. Out of slime again. Should probably go get a little bit of slime. Oh, there's some up here I could get. Probably doing this at a ridiculous priority. Yep. There's not a whole lot of slime left on the map. Oh, this is all trapped again. Hmm. <laughs> More pressure. Uh, we could just quickly go in the side here. I'll worry about that another time. That's not super critical. We could have used the steam up top. But it would have turned to water by the time we got to the top. So that's why I built this up here. Okay, we're up to 172. That's super hot. Don't want to go too high. Should probably put some automation on here. So, let's do a pipe temperature sensor. Liquid thermo sensor. Right here. Actually, let's do it right... Can't do it there. We can only do it here. <laughs> Turn that off just in case it gets too hot here. The steam is still filling up here? Oh yeah. Wow. Let's get Matt in the rocket. I think he's probably ready. I think he just went in. There he goes, he's in. Probably should have done a bit more automation here. With the water going in and stuff. Okay. And I want to automate this here, so we're going to do... We'll only turn this on if the temperature is below a certain amount here. If it's below 200, should be safe. If it's below 200.
This might not work now that I think about it. <laughs> Should really be here, not on the output, but on the input. But because uh, this thing's going to be on otherwise. Yeah, I should probably have the pipe come around here and then back in. And then move the sensor. Actually, I think it'll work. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, it turned off. That's good. Okay, it's working. But now is it permanently off? That's the that's the problem. <laughs> Cuz there's no liquid in it. Yeah, we need liquid in there. Okay. We're going to try again. But we're going to move this over here. Let's use our pliers. Thermal sensor here instead. Okay. How are we doing for steam here? Oh, we're almost full. We probably didn't need to fill it all the way. Can we retract these? Are we going to fry the circuit? I think we're okay. Gotta open the doors as well. I think we're almost ready to go here. Okay, that regolith is gonna fall. And we need a bunker tile on the bottom. Otherwise, this is all gonna get destroyed. But I think this thing is pretty full here. Okay, how, how are doors? That's up. Doors are opening. Let's check the star map. Oh, we have no telescope. <laughs> uh, the telescope. Hmm. Forgot about that minor detail. Let's build a telescope. Generates heat. Let's just put one right here. I don't think it needs to see the sky for our purposes. I think it just needs to be present. We are going to need to hook this up properly later. But to get out of here, I think all we need... Is it built in order to see the star map in order to launch the rocket? I think. Okay, these doors are open. We should really power these doors. I think I'll probably just use this wire as well. <laughs> we may get overloads. I'm digging these little pits here just in case we get regular stuck in there. Okay, steam is almost full here. I probably used way too much steam for this, but 
Okay, there we go. Rail is falling. Oh, these cat trees. Crap. Forgot about them. These need little covers. Let's see if we can launch here. We got our, we got our telescope? We do. Destination not selected. Okay, here we go. Destination unknown. Analyze. Do we have to analyze before we go? Use a telescope to... Oh, we've, we've got to analyze first. I totally forgot about that. Uh, we need oxygen. Man, there's always one more thing. Always one more damn thing. Okay. Hmm. Kind of need pure oxygen to go in there. We could start getting this ready. Or we could just do a little oxygen diffuser room. I think I'll do that instead. Something super quick. Quick and dirty. What is that? Bleach stone. Okay, this is going to be the quickest, dirtiest. Oxygen setup ever. Probably going to fry this wire. Okay, uh, we need, we probably want a filter. Oh, I thought the game was going to crash there. Oh, we need a pump as well. <laughs> I know I'm using steel here. Everything else can go... I don't know. Somewhere else. <laughs> yes, it's a mess. But I just want to get the episode done here. Okay, uh, that's the filtered output don't want that going there. I want everything else going. Oh god. I've created a monster. What was this line for? What the heck was I doing here? CO2. I already have a line here. Hmm. Let's use it. Your oxygen out. Um, Colony lacks field research skill. That's because I put my researcher on the rocket. Okay, we'll have to fix that in a bit here. We need more power, we need more power. we can piggyback off this and hope for the best because that's not in use anymore this is why I don't do rockets it is well the steam rocket is slow the petroleum rocket is much faster so okay oxygen This is actually going to go here. Everything else can go here. Plier that away. Uh, 
ugly. Oh, we got some slight problems in here. I think somewhere along the way some chlorine got uh, deposited in there. Thanks. Okay. Pure oxygen on the way. Power connected. Research skill. Who can we use? Matt's already on the rocket. I don't think I have anyone else researching. And my UI is all messed up. What the heck? Okay. Maybe we can use one of these dupes down here that to have some free points. Nope. Oh, we just need a uh, field research. Done. Oh, we need a priority here. Uh, researching... Who did I just make a field researcher? Camille. Camille, you are now allowed. To do research. In fact, let's make sure you really love to do it. No line of sight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, small issue. Small minor problem. I think we need uh, to change things up here a little bit. We'll put it below this one. some oxygen here. We'll get this done. Don't you worry. Now we need to be able to open this door up here. Wait through some extreme lag. manual switch for that. Be able to open that up. Instead of ladders here, I'm going to use mesh tile. In fact, I'm going to build my door I will build two. We'll have one here, and we'll have one here. Oh. Ouch. Ouch.
Okay, rockets uh, stuff. I should probably should close this till we're ready to go. And we have no power. I thought I was so close, and then I totally forgot about the whole the whole research thing here. Keep that closed for now. Actually, it's probably safe to leave open. Just had a meter shower. Okay, reduced visibility. That's better than no visibility. This thing has like a pretty big cone of sight. And there's only this little window here. So not optimal, but... But it'll work. Oh, these have to go. Okay, we got research going. Okay, this won't take long. Scanning the star, star map goes really quick. So, this is unreachable. Actually, let's just do this. The reason for the mesh tile is that it doesn't conduct heat. So any regolith that falls through won't be heating everything up. And we'll have to pull, put a, whatchamacallit here, regolith miner. What is it called? Robo miner. Somewhere along here to dig it out. But we'll, we'll let the dupes do that for now. There we go. Camille, get on that job. Oh, there we go. Done. Okay, now we can launch, I think. Now we can launch. That didn't take long. Close this door for now. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I feel it. Destination... Missing gantry. I think oh, destination not selected. Okay. Rocket destination launch. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. Oh boy. Oh boy. There goes the phallic <laughs> rocket. And we got a lot of heat there. And our dupe is stuck. Because we're so terrible. I'm going to build a tunnel underneath here. So that doesn't happen anymore. No more stuck dupes. But that was the main goal of the episode, and we're only 40, 46 minutes over schedule here. <laughs> and we got flooding somewhere. Oh gosh. Uh, I should close, I should automate these doors with the rocket, but I think we might just build a silo around this thing. 
instead, since we have lots of steel. Off camera, I'll do a bit more scanning. And where's that rocket? I have to see. 4%. It's only three cycles. Should we wait three cycles? No, we're, we're already over schedule. Past our time. And we got it working. It was a disorganized mess. Which is usually how I do space. But we did it. And we're getting massive meter damage. I'm going to close these doors manually for now. Make sure to open them before the rocket gets back. Okay. Oh. Ouch. Hope you enjoyed that uh, that episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time.